Morning, Old Blue. And good morning to you. We're headed out on a trip today. I have a trip uh, waiting for me in Winnipeg. It's going to Atchison, Alberta, which is just west of Edmonton. I'm gonna go pick up an empty flatbed in our yard and go load it up in Winnipeg and make our way that way. We have the weasel with us on this trip. That should be fun. We've got everything ready to go here. Diesel, will you believe me if I told you everybody's been asking for you? I know, right? Does it make you feel good? Everyone loves you, man. Happy to have you back on this trip. It smells really nice in here. Wow. What have you done with the place? Was mom in here? Why does it smell so nice? All right, Weasel. We're here for our trailer. Trailer 65356. I believe it's a rental. So it'll be a black one. Flatbed triaxle. It's supposed to be in the yard. Van trailer, van trailer, van trailer. Where's all the flatbed trailers? Four oh five, four oh one, those are all steps. Five twenty five, five twenty nine, five thirty three, five thirty two, one oh three. Oh, I think I see it. I think I see it. I think it's peeking out. Peeking out at me there. There it is. I think that's it. Diesel, you think that's my trailer? I think it's our trailer, man. Six, five, three, five, six. That's it. That's, that's the one. We're taking that to Alberta. Let's go put some stuff on it. Let's take it with us. How about it? Let's hook her up. Come here, come here, I wanna take you with me. I like you. Come here, come on, we don't have too much time here. I gotta hook up and go. I gotta be just down the road in 20 minutes. Still gotta do pre-trip on this thing. It's only a five minute drive to where we're going, so should work. Oh, 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 it, oh, 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 oh. Like a glove. Hooked up. That was nice and smooth, eh, Diesel? Very smooth, man. Very nice. I didn't even feel it. I know. That was a lucky one. I don't always get it that smooth. I can put my shoes on. You ate all your breakfast this morning. That's good. He usually eats all of his breakfast, but uh, in the truck he doesn't eat as much because he doesn't uh, use as much energy. Uh, but we're going to go on lots of walks, right? Lots of walks. Right, Diesel? I dubbed the... Lord Weasel. I already was Lord Weasel. I know. Why are you touching me with the shoehorn, man? Put your shoes on. Go get the trailer on. Jeez. Diesel. Everyone's excited that you're in the truck with me. I'm excited. It's going to be a good trip, right? I'm going to go to Alberta, see a bunch of Alberta cows. Because we're Saskatchewan. Oh, don't get too excited about Saskatchewan, man. I know. It's like an exciting place. Lots of cows there, too. Oh, okay, got my shoes on. Let's do this. Okay, okay. Ah, yes. Wonderful, wonderful. Get those tarps onto the deck there. Come with me, come on, come here. Come here. Don't make me call you names. You better listen to me. Roll these up, because you don't want to forget that. Beautiful, sunshiny day. It's a good day to be trucking. I'm getting loaded right now. This is about half the load. So they say. see how much it uh, adds up to. I think these are floor joists going out to Alberta. It's gonna be very heavy, <laughs> very heavy. All right, done tying down. We're gonna do our final walk around. Let's go take a look and make sure that everything's ready to go. There's the full load. It's heavy, that's why we got the triaxle. 
to get the exact total weight, I'll have to get the paperwork. I gotta pick that up on my way out of here. Check all of my straps here. Make sure that everything is tight. Should have a nice little buzz to them, right? There we go, all the way to Alberta with this. It's gonna be fun. Uh, floor joists. I told you that already, right? Floor joists. Somebody's building something. I got your floor for you. Pretty sure what's, what that is. Someone's building something. I'm their man. Here at Flying J, Headingley, Manitoba. Just on the west side of Winnipeg. Just grab a coffee, something to drink, a sandwich. And we're gonna head down the road. We are heavy. We have uh, close to 60,000 pounds on the trailer behind us. Hence the triaxle. It's heavy. And this truck over here, I don't know what they're doing, but they've been parked there like that the whole time I've been here, blocking everything in. Maybe they broke down. But the truck is running. It's sitting there idling. Driver's in the driver's seat, so there must be something wrong. I walked past it on my way in and the airlines were all intact, so it's not the airlines. Who knows? There's gotta be a reason, because no one just parks like that and blocks people in for no reason. In 100 meters, make a U-turn if possible and then turn left into 170 meters. And the drivers there weren't fighting with each other, but they were talking with each other, so... I mean, I, if if someone was just being a dink and blocking people in, I think that there would be uh, more words flying back and forth. They seem to be understanding of each other, so... I don't know what's going on. Let's drag this heavy load out to Alberta. Take her nice and easy. At least we're not oversized or anything. It's a legal load. One less thing to worry about, right? In 200 meters, turn left on Portage Avenue, Highway 1. when the four-wheelers understand and we both turned onto the road here and he didn't try to cut around on my right and pass me on my right patiently waited behind me until I turned into the right lane so he could pass me on the left side it's nice to see some people know how to drive out there that's you know restores hope in humanity a lot of people get very impatient with us on the road and their uh, <laughs> lack of humanity shows very quickly. Not all the time, but quite often, more often than it should. It's a beautiful day in the capital of Saskatchewan. Or if they're building new overpasses. 
I don't know, overpasses are sort of a foreign concept to me. I'm from Winnipeg. We don't know what overpasses are. Never been exposed to them much. Oh, that is a bright sun. Yikes. Somebody turn down the brightness there, would you? Highway 11 towards Saskatoon, that's where we're headed. Go through Saskatoon to Edmonton. I'm thinking we'll probably make it to Saskatoon tonight and stay at the Flying J there. That way I can have a shower and get cleaned up, get fueled up and get ready for tomorrow. Supper break here for the weasel. The bathroom break for both of us. Ate all his supper like a good boy. Now we gotta get out of here. I want to make it to Saskatoon. Hopefully there's a parking spot there for us when we get there. We'll make one, we'll find one. This is Davidson, Saskatchewan. This guy off to the left here parked sort of right in the middle of the driveway. A squeak between here. You guessed it, Flying J. Saskatchewan. So we made it, we found a parking spot here and uh, we'll call it a night. Stay here for our mandatory eight hours and then we'll be off to the races again. About another five and a half hours of driving tomorrow to the destination. Uh, we should get there early afternoon and we'll see what we got for our reload from there. Depending on where we go, maybe we'll get loaded tomorrow yet, maybe we'll get reloaded the next day. If we do get reloaded tomorrow, that'd be awesome. If we are able to get loaded tomorrow, uh, it's Wednesday, that means we'd be back Thursday night or so. It's a bit of a short, maybe we get another short one in there on, uh, go straight back out, turn and burn on Thursday, go do a quick overnighter and be back Friday. We'll see what happens. We've got a barbecue coming up on Saturday that I'd like to be home for. Yeah, we'll see what happens. No more doctor's appointments for a little bit yet. We'll wait and see what happens with that. But anyways, thanks everybody for watching. Thanks for tuning in every day, subscribing. I am exhausted. I don't know why, but I did drive nine hours today, but it's not even a full day for me. It's just for some reason. I thought I got a good sleep last night, but oh, it's just some days you, uh, some days the sleep is just better than others, you know? Hopefully tonight will be 
the best of the bestest. Get a full day in tomorrow. Diesel, how was your day? How was your day, man? Diesel, hey. How are we sleeping? Hey, guys. Guys, it's been very cute. It's been very cute. Very, it's been a very nice day. See a lot of cows. And we see where it's Saskatchewan. It's Saskatchewan now. Um, that's all. Good night. That's it, Diesel? Nothing else? He's been enjoying the day. He, he likes to sit back here on the bed and just look out the back window. That was one of the reasons I really wanted to have a back window, right? Well, so that Diesel could look out. He's not gonna come with on every trip. Uh, he's getting older and uh, the road isn't, full-time road isn't for him anymore. He's got some, uh, I don't know, some, some things I've been concerned about with him. He gets uh, frightened easily, which is strange, because that never used to be like that. Like when we went down that gravel road, to deliver those big rafters or trusses like a few weeks ago and Diesel was with me. That's why he stayed home for a few weeks or for a week or two because he hated that gravel road. For some reason, that gravel road freaked him out. He doesn't mind the paved roads. You've been spoiled with all the American interstates, man. And he really didn't like it. He was scared of the, the sound of the rocks. Uh, and it made him a little nervous. So I don't know what that was all about. There's a bug in here. How dare you? Oh, that was your death sentence coming in here, buddy. <laughs> Did I get you? Ah! No, I didn't. I will get you, though. Look at this guy. Look at this guy flying around. Oh, he's fast. Diesel, I don't want to hit you. Okay? I won't hit you. Don't worry. Oh, I'm going to get that bugger yet. But anyways, yeah, that's the reason why Diesel's not going to be full-time. Uh, because... I he really enjoys being at home with his family. When it was just me and him, before I met Britt, it was me and him. It was, it was a little different. But now there's a family at home, he's got his brothers at home, and uh, he really enjoys being there too, and I don't want to take that from him. So I don't want to be completely greedy and selfish with him and take him with me everywhere I want, or everywhere I go, because I want him to be with me. And that is the case I want him to be with me all the time 24 7 and he enjoys being in here he does but I can tell that he also really enjoys being at home with his family he's turned into a bit of a family guy a bit of an old family guy so uh yeah he's in his like golden years his senior years right now I don't want to take that from him I think he deserves to be home with his family sometimes and he can come along with me sometimes I'm gonna try taking Chevy on a short trip see if he's adjusted at all to it he's definitely a homebody the truck is very noisy scares him a little bit he doesn't appreciate the majesticness of it but that's okay and he is Brit's dog he's Brit's protector he guards her like he, he might seem like a nice little golden retriever happy golden retriever you try messing with Brit he, he turns into a pretty scary dog pretty quick he's very protective of her and that's the whole point of him he's supposed to be there to protect her and uh, the little guys well they're too old and wiener I could never separate him him from Brit that that's not gonna happen uh, he would die of sadness if I did that so <laughs> can't do that we'll see diesel you can come with as often as you want okay but you're also going to stay at home some. We'll figure out a rhythm. Maybe he'll come with every second trip or every third trip. We'll see. Uh, he's still going to be in the truck with me. He still enjoys being here. He really does. It's tough, you know, as they get older. And anyways, I'm tired just babbling on here. Hope this all made sense to you. Look at my eyes. That means it's time for Trucker Josh to go to bed. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care, everybody.